from the math professor Kyle Martin. This is the channel where we tell you how to do your math homework fast and accurate. All right, today we're talking angle addition postulate as part of our geometry proof reasons playlist. Okay, in less than two minutes today, we're talking about a quick definition. We're gonna give you a brief example and go over two real proofs. Remember, there are timestamps in the video player down below. Go ahead and click on whatever parts you need. Let's get into it. All right, angle addition postulate. Quick definition says if C is in the interior of angle ABD, then ABC, this top angle, plus CBD, this right angle, equals the entire thing ABD. In other words, if ABC, let's say this was 50 degrees, and CBD, let's say this was 80 degrees, if I add those two together, it's gonna give me the entire angle, which would be, of course, 130 degrees. All right, guys, the first proof is kind of an interesting one. We have these two angles over here cut into these different parts. Uh, one, angle one, angle three, angle two, and angle four. All right, and then we are given, it says angle one is equal to angle two, and angle three is equal to angle four. So, of course, in that first line, this is gonna be our given. In the second line, angle one plus angle three equals angle two plus angle four. If you look what they did here, they took like this first one, one and two, okay, one and two, and they what they did, since three is equal to four, they just added the same thing on to both sides. So this is actually addition. Okay, and then number three is one we're interested in. It says measure of angle one plus the measure of angle three equals the measure of angle A, B, C. One plus three, part plus the part equals the whole. That is angle addition postulate. And the same reason for the second line. Okay, and then lastly, since we had line two where these two parts equal each other, I can now say that what they equal equal each other as well by substitution. All right, proof two, we have this angle over here that's being bisected, as it says in our given, and we need to prove that two times angle uh, yxz equals the entire thing, uh, the measure of wxz, okay? So first off, it's given to us that that's a bisector, um, so that's gonna be our given. Okay, secondly, the measure of WXY, WXY equals the measure of YXZ. That's just the definition of an angle bisector. Okay, and then step three says the measure of angle WXY, top one, plus the measure of YXZ, the bottom one, equals the measure of the whole thing, WXZ. That is our angle addition postulate. Okay, step four now says that the measure of angle YXZ plus the measure of angle YXZ again equals the measure of WXZ. Well, here what we did is we substituted this in. Okay, and then last step, since I do have two of those, I can just say two times one of them, right? Since there's two of those, equals the entire thing. That is just combining like terms. Hey guys, I hope this video on angle addition postulate helped you. If it did, leave a comment maybe saying why it did, or if it didn't, say why it didn't. Um, and then also, if you consider subscribing to this channel, you already need help. You're probably going to need help in the future. Might as well subscribe. All right. And then also, if you need more help, um, maybe on another geometry proof reason or a different topic, uh, check out the playlist. They're in the description below. We'll see you in the next one.